Hey everyone, I am so excited about today's video. Today I am going to be showing you my 2022 planner stack. Now these planners right here are actually my 2021 planner stack and I'm gonna go through them with you first to kind of show you what worked, what didn't work, and why I've chosen the things I have chosen for next year. Now this video is a collab with some of my favorite people. I actually invited them to join me today to show our planner stacks. As you'll see with this stack, my stack, I'm giving myself full permission to change this and to edit it and to um, move if things aren't working. I know that the idea of a planner stack can be a little bit uh, much for some people. Like I, for one, before I joined the planner community, was always a one planner girl. I always just used one planner and then a notebook, you know, but the idea of having like four or five planners in the lineup just seemed, seems like a little much. So if you're there, totally get it. Hopefully this will show you some of the ways that we're using the current planners and you can pick the one that will work for you if you're a one planner girl, or if you're still trying to decide on your planners and you do want a planner stack, Maybe this will give you some ideas on how to use separate planners. I do like sometimes compartmentalizing the different areas of my life into a planner. There are a group of amazing women doing this with me today, so I will have their links in my description box, so make sure to go check those out after you watch this video, and let's get started. So this is my planner stack for 2021. These are the books that I for the most part used. I also used a Cultivate What Matters Power Sheets for about, I would say like five months of the year. And I, for some reason, didn't pull that down. So I'm not gonna show that one. That one's a little bit more personal in many ways. Some of the, the goals that I were working on in there, I don't really necessarily share a lot because they have to do with health and mental health and different things like that that I don't necessarily like broadcast to the world. <laughs> but these are ones that I can show for sure. So these were my main planners. I started off the year really, really strong in my Moxie life. If I had to pick one planner, it would probably be a Moxie life because I feel like it carries it all. This planner is an amazing goal setting planner. This is their flagship. They actually this year came out with a coiled version as well. It's in a six month. This is a full year, it's dated. Their other products that are coiled are undated. So if you're interested in a coil, they're gorgeous, gorgeous. I am not a huge fan of this wire O binding. In the Mox Life, it just it just works. So I don't mind it at all. I wouldn't say I love it, but I, I don't mind it at all. So this is what I started off the year with. I, I was really strong. I mostly used this for goal setting. You can see like my opening pages here with my different goals. And then in the months I, you know, I used it for weekly reflections and goals. And then I mostly used it for memory keeping and I would write different memories. I'd put pictures in and decorate it a little bit. Some weeks I used it for goal setting and kind of laying out the week. Um, but mostly it was journaling, reflections, and memory keeping. And I loved this planner for this. I was really solid with this until I hit about July. And in my life in July, um, school, which is already intense for nursing school, got even, it like stepped it up. And I started dealing with a lot of anxiety. I was dealing with a lot of guilt, mom guilt from being in school. And I just, my mental health was not there. And I really like the, the amount of time that this, Sometimes, you know, like this this reflecting and goal setting, it takes a little bit more time than your average planning because this is about change and about, um, you know, becoming your best self. And I just wasn't mentally at a place that this was working for me hit come July. And the funny thing is, 2020, I use this religiously. Like every week, I don't think I missed a week. I did my goal setting. I made some amazing changes. But, and, the, and it continued to work well at the beginning of this year, but as soon as, like right around the summer, this just, it was almost more stress than 
than helpful. So I moved on. I moved on to my Erin Condren Hourly. I've been using the Erin Condren Vertical or Hourly for the last, it's been over 10 years I think now. So this has been a mainstay for me and when they came out with their new stuff in July, I just decided to switch over. So in July, I started using this a lot and I absolutely loved it. Using a lot of my sticker kits in here and I just, yeah, it was just really a fun place to, to try out my, you know, I don't know, I just had a lot of fun in here. This was um, what I've been using since then. I've been not as consistent, so you can see like some of, oh, that's, um, here's October. <laughs> like there was definitely some weeks that I missed in this one because I fell in love with daily planning. So I love using a weekly overview, but like I said, my life has been just kind of hectic and stressful. And so using tons of planners wasn't working for me either. So I would use this on weeks that, that I felt like I had the time, which recently hasn't been a lot, but there's a lot of things I love about Erin Condren. I love, I have a dog hair right here. I love their interchangeable covers. I love this one. Isn't that cute, Santa? Um, I love their coil. I love their paper. I think that they have the best paper on the market for sure. Um, I love the kind of simplicity of their designs. It just works for me. This layout for the week with the hours just works. I love, I love it. This has been my weekly planner since July. For the most part, I've used it most weeks. This planner here is a simplified weekly. It's just a little book. I absolutely love the size of this. I had great plans to use this as my school planner, but because of this planner that I'll show you in a second, I, this kind of became a little bit obsolete. But what I did use it for, which this is, this is not a cheap planner. This, I wanna say it's around $50. So I would not recommend doing this with this planner um, unless you're actually going to, you know, really get into it. But what I did was I used this to mark off all of my school things. So I, I actually reference this all the time, but I put every due date in here, every single day I had in class, every due date, the things that were due that week. And so it was kind of nice to have a place where school could be, where nothing else resides. And I could just look at one week, get a quick glance of the one, two, three, four, five things that were due this week and know exactly what was, was due. There was nothing else kind of hindering anything. On the monthly pages, I also put, I marked in all of my days. You can see over here, I have lecture, clinical, HESI exams and labs, but I also have with the flags, all of my kids' school days. So it was just a way for me to have school all in one place. And that was really nice. I definitely wouldn't do it with this planner again. I would probably get like a little cheapy from like even the dollar store to just have this at a glance. But I really, really, really have used this and utilized it a lot. It just, you know, not for 50 bucks. All right, this has become my mainstay, my baby. I absolutely love this planner. It won't even shut anymore. You can see it's super, super fat. I loved every single, oh, I just love this planner. I have used almost every week, except weeks that we were traveling in here. And this is the Erin Condren A5, which I have, I have decided is my favorite planner size. This is the Daily Duo in the mid-century circles. There are some things I would change about this, but for the most part, this has been like the nearly perfect planner for me. I love, I love the binding, this is gold, and um, I love the interchangeable covers, and I have really, really just, this layout is perfect for me. There are some things that I would change. Um, I hate this little calendar. I think, I don't know anyone who likes it, so I don't know why they still have it in here, but it just seems like in the way, I just ignore it. Um, and I really don't love this blank, let's see if I can, this little blank place right here. 
Um, I would love if the to-do list, to list just extended down or if they would give us lines or something, something different, but a blank like, place in the, in the planner really bothers me. So those are the only two things I would change. When I was growing up, I used a Franklin planner and I used a, actually I think it was two, day, two pages a day layout. Um, and it would have, it was a very similar layout to this where it had a to-do list, it had a schedule, and then on this side, I think it was just like a note page. But um, I loved that planner so much, and it was daily, and I used that from, I think the time, I was around like 10 when I started using a Franklin planner until I was, found my, the Erin Condren like 10 years ago. So I loved that. I, I was a ring, I always used a ring binder, I had inserts, but this kind of gives me that. So. When I am using just a weekly, I used to pull out a notebook and I would make a to-do list of everything that I have to do that day. Then I would write down the hours of the day and I would schedule in each of my to-do list items into my schedule to get things done. And that's how I would put, I'd have my weekly up, but I needed that to-do list and like a time blocking for the day. And this gives that to me. Um, I'm gonna show a couple planners that I'm gonna be trying out this year that are not laid out like this. They don't have the time blocking as extensive as this does. And I, I'm a little worried about using them because of that. So really my ideal daily planner would be similar to this, but I would have all hours and all to-do lists. It's just really portable. It fits into even my smaller, um, purses and I take it everywhere with me. I love, 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 really love this thing. So the fact that I might be changing things up is a little scary. Okay, so we went through all of that. That took me like 15 minutes to get through, but now let's go to my 2022 planner lineup. Okay, first and foremost, um, my Moxie Life. I was so set on going with the undated six months just so I could have the coil that's similar to like the Erin Condren coil. But I just couldn't give up my dated year in one book. So I have decided to stick with the flagship this year. I have two covers, um, cause I bought a horizontal as well in case I wanna switch things up. This is going to be goal setting and reflections uh, and journaling and maybe a little bit of like what we are doing each day. But for the most part, this book is going to be for goal setting and memories. And I love these planners. I am really, really excited to use them. I've shown it, I'll link my uh, Moxie Life video down below, but so I'm not gonna walk through this tons, but this paper is smoother than Erin Condren. It's also a little bit brighter and it works great with most pens. It is amazing with stickers and it's just a really clean, simple layout. I love all of her, the colors that she has. I love the um, coaching tips that are in here. It's just an amazing, incredible book. And if I could only have one planner, this would be it. I would definitely be sticking with my Moxie Life. So my daily is a crapshoot. I wanted to do this collab so bad so that I would pick something and I just can't decide what I want to do. Um, Moxie Life, this is what their new coil looks like and they have these amazing covers. These are the same covers that are on their six month weeklies, but this is the daily, so it's smaller. This is A5 instead of the seven by nine that's in the normal. Um, I show, again, I showed this in um, one, here, let me show you. This is what the page looks like without my stickers. This is my, my uh, Moxie Life daily sticker kit. And anyway, this might be it, it might be. Um, or I have the same one that I used this year, which I also, like I told you, I just love. The hesitation I have with the Moxie Life is that the layout is more extensive. So you have three boxes, you have a section, you have this, you have this, you have a section, you have, just so many things that I feel like it might make the day stressful. Um, where really all I want, and, and there's only this much time, where really I need this much time. So really if I, 
if I, I wanted this to be it, but I'm nervous, I'm nervous about using this as my daily because um, the time blocking is the most important thing to me and the time, time slots. I feel like on a daily, the time should be number one priority. Um, and I just, they're not timed and they're not, um, and it's just small. So I'm not sure if this will work for me. I'm kind of going to dabble in it a little bit for the next couple weeks to see if I want to use this. But in the meantime, I do love, I think it's beautiful. The other option, like I said, is just sticking with the coil, sticking what, with what works. So I have that as well. This might be it. The last option, I did a Instagram um, IGTV with this and this might be it as well. So this is the Erin Condren Daily Duo. This is in the, obviously it's ring bound. This was gifted to me by Erin Condren. Um, so I had it on hand. I don't think I ever would have tried it otherwise. And Saray was a huge, um, she's the one that kind of prompted me into pulling it out and, and seeing if, if it works for me. And I copied her with a lot of things. So um, like I rounded the corners like her. I have the Flora design in here so it's a little bit more simplistic too, which is really nice. And then I added in the back some of my, oh, I have lined pages. And then I added in some of the petite uh, planners. So I just unbound them and then punched them. And again, inspired by Saray. So here we have a wellness log. I have the holiday planner that I've been using. And then I put a week's focus notepad in here, which I thought would be nice um, to kind of have a week at a glance with that. So one of those three will be my daily. I'm thinking this is the one that I'm going to start off trying to see if it works for me. I think the um, whole setup is really beautiful, but it's, you know, one of the reasons I do love that Erin Condren, this one is how portable it is. And even though these are both A5 planners, you can see that um, this one definitely like packs a little bit more punch with the size. Okay, two more items. I am so in love with this planner. So this is a golden coil. I have never used golden coil before. This is going to be my business and content planner. Isn't this cover so pretty? I just think it is so, so gorgeous. So these colors are like my favorite and um, it is a wire o binding, it is quite thin. This is probably the most customizable um, company that I have ever seen. So you can pick all sorts of things. There's tons of layouts to choose from. You can add in words, you can add in holidays, you can like plum paper, but more. Like there's so, so much and it's so elegant. So all of their covers and their paper is more of like an ivory color. Just um, be forewarned about that. Let me see if I can compare it to, I don't know if you can tell. Here's Erin Condren's and then this one's kind of an ivory, which I think is so beautiful. And you know, it really gives me freedom to not use stickers, which I really like. Um, but you can see I printed Hannah in here. I put um, a quote that is going to be it's actually a scripture that is going to be my um, kind of like scripture of the year next year, I think. And it just says, he gives strength to the weary, increases the power of the week. And then um, I added some things in. So I added a year and a glance. Here is a social media calendar that I'm not sure if I'm gonna use or not, but it has, you know, different, different things to add in for social media. And then you get to the layout that I chose. So you have this beautiful, oh my gosh, their stuff is so beautiful. I am just in love with this. It's el super elegant. So this is the monthly layout and then the the layout I chose is, um, it has these six boxes. Saturday and Sunday are combined, which is fine for me for social media because I try not to post on Sunday. And then you just have a to-do list and a dot grid on this side. So let me show you a little bit closer so you can see, but I plan on using this for planning out my social media posts and then the things I need to do. 
And then of course, just notes that I need to take for videos or whatever on this side. So um, YouTube is actually one of my goals for next year. So I thought this would be really great for notes for the videos. So it goes like that through the whole year. And then I don't know if I added anything in the back. Um, there's some, yeah, I didn't add anything, but you do get a pocket and that is it. So, I mean, you can make these books super thick. They have tons of add-ons, so many, so many things. I wanted to keep it simple because like I said, that's all I'm gonna be using this for is just my hand can plan sticker shop and social media. So that is my last planner. And then I am going to be using this book. This is an A5 notebook from Erin Condren. I uploaded this picture and this picture on the back. And this is something that came in one of, I think on a seasonal surprise box, or maybe it came in, I don't know, this was, this was given to me. It might have been in like the holiday collab. I don't know. But um, this is the year over year journal. And I thought this would be amazing to use for this next year and then the year after because I, we have some major changes. My, I'm gonna be graduating nursing school. My daughter is going to be starting her senior year next year. And I just think it would be nice to kind of compare the years. So what this is, you have two years for each January. So it's just a little journal and then a journal for the next year. So this will be 2020, or 2022 and 2023. And I wrote that here. Um, and I'm just going to be kind of, kind of a gratitude journal by my bedside each night, kind of writing something that made me happy that day, something that stood out to me. And I thought it would just be kind of an awesome way, an easy way to journal a little bit about my kids and my family. So this is definitely going to be something that I think I will treasure. And you get that beautiful Erin Condren coil. The, I'm pretty sure these are for sale on the website. Um, and I'm really excited. So I know that was a lot, but I'm pretty sure these four are my planners for next year. I'm these three planners and then this journal. So I am really, really excited. I think that, oh, it kind of like peaceful colors, which is one of the words I've been thinking about for next year. Um, I'll talk about that in a little bit, but I have four words in mind. So one of the words that I've been thinking about is strength, which is, goes along with the scripture that's in here. Another word I felt like was kind of cliche, so I've been steering away from it, but at the same time, it is what I feel like I need the most, and that's love. And then I just feel like I need to love bomb my family and, um, you know, after we've been, we just struggled this last year with, with me being gone so much and being so busy. And then another word is connect. And I thought, same for the same reason, I just feel like I need a connection with God. I need a connection with my family right now. And um, anyway, I'll figure it out and I'll let you guys know what my word of the year is. But I'm, I'm just feeling to go away from, you know, my word for the past two years has been steadfast because I've just needed to be strong, steadfast, keep going um, with the hard. But my heart is ending this year and I really just feel this urge to connect and slow down, peace, love. So I do love these colors and that is just kind of peaceful. So I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Make sure to check out the other wonderful people who are joining me in this collab. I cannot wait to watch. This is actually my favorite videos to watch or seeing what everyone's planner lineup is. I know mine seemed huge because I was showing all those dailies, but I am 90% certain that this is what I'm sticking with. So I hope you guys all have an amazing, amazing day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.